Once upon a time, in the magical land of Teletubby Land, lived four colorful and cheerful creatures known as the Teletubbies. Their names were Tinky Winky, Dixie, Lala, and Pa. Each Teletubby had a unique color and a special antenna on their head that made them distinct. Tinky Winky was purple, Dipsy was green, Lala was yellow, and Pooh was red. Teletubby Land was a beautiful place filled with rolling green hills, blooming flowers, and a giant pinwheel that spun in the wind. In the center of this land stood the Tubbytronic Superdome, the home of the Teletubbies. Every day in Teletubby Land was an adventure full of laughter, games, and delightful surprises. One sunny morning, as the sun rose over the hills, the Teletubbies woke up to the cheerful sound of the voice trumpets. The voice trumpets were magical devices that popped up from the ground to deliver messages and play songs. Today, the voice trumpets announced a special event, the arrival of the magic windmill. The magic windmill would bring wonderful stories and exciting activities for the Teletubbies to enjoy. Excited by the news, Tinky Winky, Dipsy, Lala, and Pooh gathered around the magic windmill. As it began to spin, its blades glowed with a rainbow of colors, and the Teletubbies danced with joy. Suddenly, the windmill sent out a magical signal, and the Teletubbies knew it was time to watch a special story on their tummies. Each Teletubby had a screen on their tummy that showed interesting and fun stories from the real world. Today, the screens showed a story about children playing with bubbles in a park. The Teletubbies giggled and clapped as they watched the children chase the shiny, floating bubbles. Inspired by the story, the Teletubbies decided to make their own bubbles in Teletubbyland. They ran to the Tubbytronic Superdome to find the Tubby Custard Machine. Tubby Custard was a delicious treat that the Teletubbies loved, but today, they would use it to make bubbles. Pa, the smallest and most adventurous Teletubby, pressed the buttons on the machine, and soon, the air was filled with enormous, shimmering bubbles. The Teletubbies chased the bubbles, popping them with their hands and laughing with glee. Tinky Winky used his handbag to catch the bubbles, Dipsy danced around them, Lala juggled them with her ball, and Perode her scooter through them. The hills of Teletubby Land sparkled with the reflections of the bubbles in the sunlight after a fun-filled day of bubble play. The Teletubbies were tired but happy. They sat together on the soft grass, watching the sun set over the hills. The voice trumpets sang a lullaby, and the Teletubbies knew it was time to rest. As the stars twinkled in the night sky, the Teletubbies snuggled into their beds inside the Tubbytronic Superdome. They closed their eyes, dreaming of more magical adventures in Teletubbyland. And so, the day ended with the Teletubbies drifting off to sleep, their hearts full of joy and their minds filled with the wonders of the day and they lived happily ever after in their enchanting world of fun and friendship, the end.